Hi, I'm Rob here from Spy Geeks. Today what we're going to talk about is how to configure a four-channel DVR uh, to be able to be viewed over the internet. Uh, the components you're going to need in order to get this done, you're going to need uh, obviously your DVR with some cameras plugged into it. You're also going to need an ethernet cable and this is going to go from the back of the DVR. It's going to get plugged into the back of your four-port router. And then here's your router here, the router that we're going to use. Basically, this uh, takes your internet signal and splits it off to different components that might be connected to the internet. You might have uh, you might have um, one or two other computers plugged in here already. That's fine. Uh, we we need an open port though, so we're just going to plug this into, I would say, port number one of our uh, of our router. And we have an internet signal coming to our router. So now uh, we're going to have to take a look at the settings that are built into the router. We can go ahead and uh, configure the settings for the DVR. Plus, we're going to um, go into the menu of our DVR in order to change the settings uh, to be able to view this DVR over the internet. And how we get to that menu uh, is basically on the front of the DVR here is a menu button. Most DVRs are going to be very similar to this. So it's going to be a menu button. We're going to hit that. We're on the menu now, and we're at the network settings screen. We're going to hit enter on our DVR. That's going to take us to a network setup menu. What we're going to have to do here, there's going to be some settings we're going to have to change in order to configure the uh, DVR to the internet. Uh, the setting that we're going to be concerned about with right now is going to be this one right here where it says IP address. That's the IP address that your DVR is getting from your router. And we need to, uh, we need to find out what that IP address is. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this setting here from static to DHCP, which means that the uh, router is going to assign this DVR an IP address, and the uh, which it already is doing, but the DVR doesn't know it yet. So we're going to do is uh, put it in DHCP mode, which is going to um, automatically populate this this uh, number right here with the uh, IP address from the D from the uh, router. We're going to hit the menu button. We're going to uh, go ahead, it says system loading, that now it's updating the new IP address from the DVR. It's done loading, we're going to hit the menu button again, and we're going to go back into the network setting uh, menu, and we can see here that the IP address is now changed from uh, 192.168.1.220 to 192.168.2.40, which is our actual internal IP address for our network. So we're going to change this DHCP mode back to static, so that way the DVR's IP address doesn't change over uh, internally. And this port number uh, of 80, we're going to change to 88 uh, for two reasons. Number one, security. A lot of um, default ports is, are 80, and a hacker might know that and might try to access your DVR on port 80 if they know your IP address. So we're going to change it to 88. And also what that does is that sometimes your uh, router's internet, uh, internet port is going to be 80 when you're accessing your IP address over the internet. You type it in and you, you leave port 80 and it might take you to your router instead of your DVR. So we're going to change this to uh, 88. And we're just going to arrow over here and back this up. And then we're going to go down here. Hit enter. Okay, now these other numbers here, we don't have to really have to worry about these right here uh, for what we're doing. This is all if you're doing uh, different, uh, you have a static IP address and it's the only device on your network you might want to put uh, settings into here, but we're not, we don't really need to mess with these. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hit the menu button again to exit out of here and hit menu again. It's going to exit out and it's going to load again and uh, reload with the new settings. And, uh, now we need to go over to our computer and change the settings on it, uh, on the router, to, uh, to match up with what we have here for the DVR.